Hello and welcome to Knowledge Circle everyone. In today's video we will learn how can we print hollow triangle in Java. So let's begin the program. I'll create a class here with the name HT and then I'll click on OK. The class is created and then the code window gets opened. Let's write the code. The very first line of the program. Here we will take number of rows from the user for the triangle. Means the height. Okay. So import java.util.scanner to take input from user. The class name is ST. And then we'll write here the main function code. After the main function, we'll begin the main function scope. Then we will create the object of scanner class to take the input from user. After creating the object for the scanner class, we'll create a variable to store the number of rows given by the user, int n. Okay. Then after we'll give a message to the user that enter the number of rows for the triangle and the number given by user we will receive and we will store in the variable n. After doing this task, we will start the work of printing the triangle. So we will run three loops here. The very first loop, the outer loop is responsible for number of rows. So I have started here, int i equal to 1 and i is lesser or equal to n and i plus plus. So this loop will ensure that number of rows or you can say the height of the triangle. Then we will have two uh, inner loop, two inner loops. The first inner loop, which I'm just writing for int j equal to, uh, and we will keep here the value i and the condition will be j should be lesser than n and j plus plus. It is for the space. First, we will print the space because we want a triangle to be printed. It's just like a pyramid program, printing a normal pyramid. But in pyramid, every value is printed. Uh, every symbol is printed here what we are doing uh, we, are, we have to print hollow triangle so that's why there will be some changes in the logic so the first inner loop is responsible for space now if it uh, space will be printed the first inner loop now we will begin the third loop the second inner loop which will be responsible for printing the symbol as we have discussed earlier it's a hollow triangle so see the loop will run normally like a pyramid only so k will be beginning with 1 and k should be lesser or equal to 2 into i minus 1 and k plus plus yes so loop will run in a uh, in a normal way but where to print and where not to print that we have to take care that's why i'm writing a condition in the case when the value of k is 1 and when the value of i is equal to the number of rows means the value of n and when k is 2 into i minus 1 in these three cases the asterisk symbol will be printed the star symbol will be printed otherwise what we will do else it should be a space okay then only the hollow triangle will be printed okay when it has to be printed when the value is the value of k is 1 and when the value of i is n equal to n means the last row okay and in the case of 2 into i minus 1 so with it, it is completed now in the outer loop we will change the uh, to change the line we will system dot out print ln we will write here i have already mentioned to change the row and this one to print the asterisk symbol and uh, here to print the space okay so this is how we will print a hollow triangle then after what we have to do our program is over we'll close the uh, outer loop main class class is compiled successfully void main enter the number of rows 8 and you can see hollow triangle